Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Enigmatica 2 Expert. So, since last episode, um, I have had, I wasn't able to upload the last episode when I meant to, because I've had, like, major internet <laughs> issues and had technicians out here. Hopefully it's sorted now, hopefully. So, I haven't got a whole lot done <laughs> since last episode. Um, a little bit, but uh, nothing major. So, anyways, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking up with Thomcraft. You know, we kind of we kind of unlocked Thomcraft and opened it up forever ago, but I said that we would start it um, now <laughs> in our second phase of mods, and now is when we are going to start it. So we're going to start into the magical mods. I say Thomcraft, but it's magical mods in general because Thomcraft, Astral Sorcery, Batania, Blood Magic are all intertwined together. So we're going to be bouncing around, um, you know, starting all four of those and bouncing around. Today we're going to be focused on Thomcraft. I don't think there's anything that we need any other mods for right this second. But we'll cross those bridges when we come to them. I will say probably next episode we might start up Batania. Maybe. We'll see how things go. So, um, Anyways, the first quest here, Thomcraft. Um, we need to get a Thomonomicon, Salus Mundus, and a bookshelf. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a bookshelf and actually it'd probably be a little bit easier if i just went up here <laughs> to the ae system we set up last episode it might be a little bit easier uh, i have been working in this area by the way this is where i've been spending a bit of my time so um, we've got the blueprints and everything up here there's going to be multi-blocks in there there's going to be a multi-block in there and i've been starting i've got to work on the ceiling and then a little bit more detail work but uh, i've been working in this area oh and a multi-block in here of course um so anyways we need to get ourselves a bookshelf let's go ahead and toss these back in there um there is that and then we need to get ourselves um some salus mundus which we can make this well the crafting recipe doesn't come up in here um we're gonna need a bowl for starters we are going to need a piece of flint, a piece of redstone, and then some V crystals. Three different, uh, one of three different kinds. So we'll just take the ones that we have the most of, of course. And then if we take these, the redstone, the V crystal, the Terra V crystal, Aqua V crystal, flint, we can get ourselves some Salus Mundus. And there we go. And, okay, counted that. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to take our bookshelf. We're going to throw this down. We're going to take our Salus Mundus and right-click and give it a second. Some really cool particle effects come out. And there we go. It becomes a Thaumonomicon. And there we go. We have our Thaumonomicon. And right now we just have two tabs. We have Fundamentals and Thaumic Tinkler. And we got a quest complete. Thaumcraft. And we get 15 levels of XP and then a console command. There we go. We have begun the Thomcraft quest line. Okay, so now if we take a look, we've unlocked a bunch more tabs here. Uh, let's see, Arcane Stones. I've actually done this, technically. Um, if we just... Okay, they're not in here. I have some downstairs. So, of course, I've been using these for building. They're very easy to craft. And we get a loot chest. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. We got a framing table from storage drawers. Don't have really any use for that. And then the next quest, let's see, Great Wood. There's a quest here for Great Wood. We do have Great Wood. Of course, I've also been building uh, with a lot of Great Wood. So let's pop over here. Let's grab ourselves some Great Wood. And quest complete, Great Wood. Okay, so there's a loot chest. And we got an ender pouch. That is actually useful um, because I do want to set up an ender pouch ender chest line that plugs into the AE system. Not just yet, but we will. Uh, for right now, I'm going to toss this into there. I'm going to toss these into there. Okay, now the next quest. Let's see. Do we want to... Let's see. First steps. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Research completed types of knowledge. And this talks about um, how research works and... Uh, let's see, what all does it talk about? The Arcane Workbench, which we're about to craft that. Yeah, that's the main thing. And then we've got, uh, let's see, Types of Knowledge, talks about observations and theories. I'm not going to read through all of this. You know, if you're going through this, you can read through it. Um, but let's go ahead and get ourselves, let's see, 
Let me grab a crafting table. And I guess I should hold on to a bowl and a piece of flint. So let's go ahead and grab that. And I'm going to go ahead and make a bit of this. I'm going to make 32 Sailor's Moon Discs. Just so we'll have it because you do use it um, quite a bit. So let's do that. That. Oh yeah, I forgot redstone. Okay, so there's 32 pieces of Sailor's Moon Discs. Done. Okay, and then if we take our crafting table, we set that down, hit it with some Sailor's Moon Discs, and we give it just a second for some cool particle effects, and pow, there's our Arcane Workbench. And we got Quest Complete Arcane Workbench. And yeah, there's everything that you need for it. Okay, so let's grab our loot chest. It's like loot chest city. This the last couple episodes are that way. Um, and then we got eight lime jelly sandwiches. Cool. Well, needless to say, I don't really need that. Uh, Silverwood. There's another quest here for Silverwood. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. And quest complete Silverwood. And we get a loot chest. <laughs> Just cleaning house right now. And we got two more gun turrets. We've actually gotten that quest reward before as well. Um, then there's quests here for research table. Uh, we need to make a research table, scribing tools, and paper. And this is actually talked about uh, right in here. So let's go ahead and we're going to need to make scribing tools. Um, let's do... Do I not have any glass at the moment? I think I've used, I've been using a lot of glass making windows and stuff. Yeah, we don't have any. Let me make, let me make a bit of glass up. There's some glass bottles. Let's get our scribing tools. I tend to like having two of these personally. Um, so that way you can kind of alternate them. And then we're also going to need to get a table. Which I actually think that I've got, actually, yeah, I've got some of these made. Because I was going to use them for decor, but they blend in so much with the great wood that I ended up not using them. I've got like a bunch of them. Right here. Wood tables from Thumbcraft. Okay, so... See, all this stuff's going to get moved, by the way. Because I actually have a Thumbcraft area, a temporary area. I mean, we'll eventually get moved over to here, but for now, we're not going to do any of our Thumbcraft stuff, our actual Thumbcraft stuff, in the base because it's dangerous. <laughs> so we're going to move it. But anyways, if we right-click this with our scribing table, it creates a research table. And we can open this up. We can pull our scribing tools in and out of there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, you have to use a pick to break it. And we should get a quest complete. Oh, we need 16 pieces of paper as well. Well, just so happens I have lots of paper. And there we go, quest complete. And let's grab another loot chest. We're going to be using all this stuff soon, I promise. But <laughs> right now we're just going through the motions of completing lots of quests. Uh, we got 64 consecrated soil. That stuff can be useful, actually. Okay, so next up, what I want to do, now that we have the research table, if we open up uh, this, we did craft the arcane workbench, we can complete that. Okay, and then it talks about getting the thermometer. We can click right here and it shows us the recipe. We've now unlocked the recipe to make the thermometer. Um, and then right over here, theory crafting, we've done the scribing tools in the research table so we can do complete. And there we go. We have completed theory crafting, and it talks about that. Um, I'm not going to read through all of this because, I mean, Thomcraft is probably one of the best um, documented in-game mods ever because it talks about, like, literally everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to toss down our arcane workbench, and you can see it says 160 available. Um, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a... we need a glass pane... There's that. And then we're going to need to get some gold. Four pieces of that. And we can take our glass pane, toss it into there, our four pieces of gold. And then we need to get ourselves V crystals, one of each type. And we're going to take and put these into their appropriate slots. We can just shift click them in. And there we go. It says 20 V and we can grab our thermometer. There we go. And you can see it consumed 20 V from this. Because basically what this is, it'll recharge slowly. Yeah, see, 141. It's going to slowly recharge. And whenever you craft stuff, it'll have like different V crystals that have to be slotted into here. And uh, this will be like your total V. And if you use all of it, you're going to have to replenish it. And if I recall, it's based on the chunk that it's in. Um, if I recall correctly, let me grab another crafting table real quick. Um, or it's, it's not 
I don't think it's the just the single chunk that you're in, but I think it's like the chunks um, in the area. But for example, if we make another one of these, I believe it'll have the exact same amount of V available um, as this Arcane Workbench. Yeah, see. Um, so let's go ahead and grab that back up. Or I guess I can just leave it down there. That's fine. But anyways, we got the thermometer now, so let's go ahead and grab our loot chest. And it does give you a hint right here. This is really important because it allows you to scan full chests of stuff. And we'll get into that here shortly. So in our loot chest, we got eight observers from Minecraft. Okay. So of course, now we can take the thermometer and we can just hold it over stuff and it'll scan it. You've learned something new. There we go. And you've learned something new. And we can scan things, right? So I'm just scanning kind of the basic stuff that we have here. Um, there's that. And then we can also do it in world. So, whoops. Hold shift and right click. Yeah, you can see some little items just popped up and went into the uh, uh, the Thalmanomicon picture there at the bottom right. And then if we do it on this, okay, nothing new could be learned from this. Um, if we do it on this chest, see we're getting some things there. Um, and it's basically, it's going through and it's scanning everything that's in that chest. And you could do that to scan, like, large amounts of stuff. Until it says nothing new can be learned from this. And then if we open up our Thalmanomicon, we take a look at first steps. We have completed um, the observation fundamentals. Basically, we just had to scan something with the Thalmometer. So we'll go ahead and complete that. And there we go. Now we have another page here. And this talks about the Thalmometer, Salus Mundus, Arcane Stone, Arcane Stone Bricks. And it just talks about the stuff that we've scanned. We can see aspects of Essentia. You can see some of the stuff that uh, we know that Aurum, for example, is made of Percantio and something else. We don't know what that other thing is just yet. Um, and you can see if we go through here, we found Fabrico is Permutatio and Instrumentum. As you scan things and find aspects, you're going to complete like, fill out this list so you know what is made of what. I mean, it's very similar to, Thom like, Thalmcraft in the past in that aspect. <clears throat> it's just a little bit more streamlined. Research and everything is a little bit more fun, a little bit more streamlined, at least at the moment. I mean, the Thalmcraft research before was fun, and then after you do it so many times, it's not so much fun. But um, Celestial Observation, we have completed that as well because we had to observe Fundamentals, Artifice, and Aromancy which we got from scanning things. So we'll go ahead and just complete that. And let's go ahead and back out. And now, discovering alchemy. Um, we have to get an observation alchemy and an observation fundamentals. Um, that's that little stuff, you know, whenever um, I scan stuff and stuff would appear right here and go down to the bottom right, that's your observations. And I have found an observation on alchemy. I don't know exactly what it was, but you saw I only scanned a few things. It was actually maybe the Salus Mundus or something. Um, that had that. So let's go ahead and complete that. And there we go. Now we need to make ourselves a crucible. So all we need to do for this is we need to get ourselves a cauldron. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. And we're going to toss this down in the world. We can scan it. And then we're going to take some Salus Mundus and just right click. And we'll give it just a second. And pow, there's our crucible. And let's go ahead and scan that as well. There we go. So you, we just got a artifice and alchemy um, observation from that. And we'll go ahead and pick that up and give it just a second. Quest complete, crucible. And so we can turn that quest in. And we'll grab ourselves a loot chest. There we go. And let's open it up. And we got 16 angel blocks. That's actually kind of nice. <laughs> I will definitely take it. Let's toss it into there. Okay, so now, if we take a look at our Thalmanomicon, we have completed that. We have got ourselves a crucible. Okay, so now that we've got the crucible, it talks about making Nitor. Like right here, yellow Nitor. We can open up, and you can see, I mean, this looks like Thalmcraft used to, right? We need 10 Potentia, 10 Locks, 10 Ignis, and a piece of Glowstone, and that's going to make yellow Nitor. And I believe that's actually the next quest that we've got here is to make Nitor, yes, and Quartz Slivers. Okay, so let's grab ourselves some Glowstone, and let's scan Cole real quick. It is Potentia and Ignis. You can see it's 10 on each, and for the, uh, to make the, oh, what did I do with it? To make the Nitor, 
It's 10 Ignis, 10 Potentia, and we're also going to need 10 Lux. Um, which Lux we should be able to get from, um, I think, Torches. Yeah, Torches are 5 Lux. So we could do, uh, for example, let's grab that. Let's grab... And what is Charcoal as well? Okay, Charcoal is uh, the same as Coal. Okay, so let's grab... Uh, let's do this. Let's make ourselves a bunch of Torches. And let's grab some glowstone. I don't have a whole lot on me, actually. And I'm also going to want a water source, infinite water source block. We'll just grab the basic one if we can. Oh, but I'm going to need uh, basic plating. Okay, give me just a second. I want to make an infinite water source block. And then we're going to pop over to um, our Thomcraft area, our temporary Thomcraft area, because I don't want to do this. I don't want to do any crucible work at the base. Okay, so before we go over and we start doing all this stuff, let's go ahead and make ourselves an infinite water source. There's that. Wait. There we go. Okay. It's a visual bug. And, uh... Okay, so we've got glowstone, we've got torches, we've got charcoal. And we should be all set. So let's grab our flu powder. And let's also grab another cauldron. Because um, I'm going to leave my research stuff over here because we're not going to generate flux just doing research. We are going to generate flux when we start using, uh, you know, the crucible. And when we start doing lots of different things uh, within Thomcraft, we will generate flux. So right now I don't want to, uh, I don't want to generate flux here because it's just bad news. So over here, we're actually going to use this island as our starting as our early game Thomcraft stuff. Um, and then eventually we'll move it over to our main base. But right now I don't want to do that. And I decided on this place because it's a nice little island here. Uh, <laughs> with a with kind of a cool shape actually. If I wasn't uh, if I wasn't living at where my base is currently, uh, I'd actually kind of like this little island area. This is actually pretty far off from Pirate's Cove. Uh, but it has one of these like really cool like tree gear type structures on it um probably one of my favorite <laughs> favorite structures um from that structures mod so um anyways let's pop in here we're gonna set up our crucible oh yeah we're gonna need a, a heat source let me pop back over let me go get a heat source i guess i, mean, I could just go underground and get some lava um, let me just pop over here i probably shouldn't set this up in the tree if i'm gonna use lava i will change it over to nitor um, yeah, I'll probably just make some Nitor and then change it over to Nitor, so. Let's pop back over. And what we'll do is we'll set it up, like, right here will be good. Let's go ahead and put that down there. Lava. Toss down our cauldron. Let's go ahead and hit it with some Salus Mundus. I know we already have a cauldron, we're gonna, or a crucible, we're gonna use that later, but, um infinite water source right there and it's going to fill up our crucible and then we can take and we need uh, one piece of charcoal and two torches per night or um, so let's go ahead we'll toss in two of those charcoal glowstone and we get back a night or. and then what we can do is shift right click and it's going to empty out the crucible now it's going to toss the extra essentia because we had uh, of course this has a little bit of herba in it it's going to toss that into the world, which is why we don't want to do this in our base. So let's go ahead and grab this. Let's grab that. And let's pop over here. We're going to put this inside of the tree now. And we'll put it just right over here. It'll be fine. Toss down our Nitor right there and our Crucible. And then Nitor can also work as lighting. You know, we can place this wherever and it's going to emit light. And let's go ahead and we'll break that off. We'll put down the... Wait, did we not get the infinite water source back? Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> it's just sitting over there on the ground. All right. I got kind of scared there for a second. We'll toss that down. Okay, so now we have our crucible available. And we have completed um, a couple things here. First up, inside of the quest book, we have completed this quest to make yellow night oil. We'll go ahead and grab that. And what did we get? A hamster wheel from Animania. Okay. 
And we've also got a new tab here. You can see we're 21% through fundamentals at the moment. But we have a new tab here for alchemy. Uh, basic alchemy. And research completed. And this shows us yellow nitor and the different colors of nitor you can do just by adding a dye to it. Then it also talks about the V crystals. You can add in, you know, whatever types of V that you want, like two of those and a quartz sliver and get a V crystal for that. Um, there's also vials, essential filters, morphic resonator, right in there. Okay. And we've got like hedge alchemy. We need to make magic tallow. Uh, to do that, I mean, we're starting to unlock a lot of things within the, the Thalmonomicon here. And I guess, let's see, Artifice, Infusion, Aromancy, Golomancy. Which direction do we want to take? Do we want to go into Alchemy first? Uh, which would be like this little section in here. See, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make up as much Nitor as we can. Go. And you don't have to empty it out each time. You know, I can do this. There we go. I accidentally throw a piece of flint in there. There we go. And you can see, like, a little bit of flux right there going up. Because there's a cincha that's built up inside of that. And that's why we don't want to do this at our base right now. Because that flux is going to build up. It's going to go up and then it's going to build up. And then it's going to create taint. And it's going to start... Taint spreads, of course. It's going to spread through this area, and it's going to get really nasty here pretty quick. Okay, so let's go ahead just really, really quick. Let's warp home. And I want to quickly go over the way research works. I actually did one of these earlier. Um, but I've set down a bookshelf and a crucible around the research table because these can be used. Um, it actually talks about, if you look in the Thalmonomicon, it talks about all of it right in here. Um, under research aids, basically they will, uh, uh, these come in the form of limited special draws that have a higher chance of occurring than normal draws. Um, you could say there's different ones that you can set around or near your research table. It doesn't have to be directly adjacent to it, it just has to be near it. Um, and it says, for example, the bookshelf grants the balance research option and two chances at the notation research option that can only be gained when you use the bookshelf. Um, you don't have to use these, you select these, but it does consume these little light bulbs up here. This is inspiration, and you have, like, right now I only have six inspiration. You'll get more inspiration the more you learn about magic, okay? Um, I'm going to pick the crafting table. Um, the crucible, I know, leads to a lot more alchemy research, um, which I don't really want to get into right this second, because I'm going to have to make a bunch of V crystals. In my experience, you have to make a bunch of, like, <laughs> of those V crystals that I mentioned a second ago, right? Like... Um, alchemy, you have to make these, but let's, uh, let's take that and let's say create theory. Okay. So we're going to get some papers here. Let's go ahead and grab these and we're going to be given two options. So you can read here. Um, this one is 15 artifice and a bonus draw. This one is 22 to 32 artifice. Um, I guess we're going to go with artifice <laughs> naturally. And there's uh, Minecraft with T and, or Minecart with TNT. We'd get a lot more artifice if we went with that. And so let's take a look at the Minecart with TNT. I don't have any sand. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just take this one, the Calibrate one. Okay, so you're going to see a percentage here, 15% on artifice. Okay, and basically what that is is that's a percentage and if you take a look inside of your thalmonomicon open this up knowledge totals it's going to go down here now right now it's not gonna it will not have added anything to it because you actually have to finish the research before you get anything added down here uh, but this is what it's going to look like after the fact and you're going to get a percentage towards a point um, now you don't have to get a hundred percent in one go if you don't like i didn't right here you can see um, these I just got percentages basically it goes to that and once this hits 100% then you'll get the point but you can actually hit 100% or even go over 100% um, you know in a single researching se uh, session let's say so let's go ahead and grab another thing here we're going to keep going until we run through all of our inspiration okay so we got rethink you take a step back and reassess your findings you get rid of invalid uh conclusions and proceed with fresh understanding 
You lose 10 per, uh, progress divided evenly between all current categories, but you, regre but you regain one inspiration and gain a bonus draw. Um, reject Artifice Findings. Uh, basically, that means if we don't want Artifice, we can focus on... We won't get any more Artifice cards, but we'll still keep the 15%. Mind Over Matter. You carefully examine and take apart some basic components in the hopes of finding new ways to assemble them, and you gain 22 to Artifice. Okay, this right here... You can see it shows an ender chest and there's a little yellow exclamation mark right there. Let's go ahead and make ourselves an ender chest. Because um, this right here is kind of important. There we go. And let's go ahead and scan that. Alright, you learned something new. Okay, so now that we have the ender chest, what we can do is we can take this. We get 22 artifice. And you'll notice it consumes the ender chest. It goes ahead and it basically eats that ender chest. So let's grab another stack of papers here. Rethink. Let's go ahead and take Rethink. This involves making those V crystals for Spiritus and Perdito. I'd rather do the Rethink. So we're going to lose a little bit of progress, but we did gain some fundamentals there. And we get back an inspiration point and we get a bonus draw. Okay. Universal Theory. Um, gain 15 to 30 progress in a completely random category, but it takes two inspiration. You can see it's two light bulbs. Um, I'm going to take the universal theory. Your total progress is split evenly amongst all currently revealed and valid categories, and an additional category will gain the full bonus upon the completion of the research. So we'll go ahead and take that. It's going to split it up, but I would like some more fundamentals. I have a lot of artifice, like if you take a look. Well, actually, I have a lot of fundamentals as well. <laughs> so, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Uh, ponder, you gain 25 progress divided evenly between all current active categories and a bonus draw. Let's take that, actually. It's going to take two inspiration, but look at that. 39% and 30%. Um, and then, we don't want to reject, reject Artifice Findings. Ooh, Celestial Studies. But we need uh, Celestial Notes on Lunar Full and Lunar Waxing Crescent. Um... You can actually take your th uh, thermometer. We come out here. Oh, I need paper. I need some. I need some paper. <laughs> I don't have any paper on me. Let me grab. Uh, let me grab this. Um, basically, lunar studies, you do study the moon in Thalmcraft now as well. So it's kind of like Astral Sorcery. So if we take a look there, there's the moon. Let's go ahead. Let's see. If we click on the moon, we get... Uh, you've already studied that today. So you can see we got Celestial Notes, Lunar Third Quarter. This is the Stellar Western Quadrant. There's Northern Quadrant. And we can just kind of like go around in a circle here. And make notes. So there's Southern Quadrant, Eastern Quadrant, Northern Quadrant, Western Quadrant, and the Third Quarter Lunar uh, Studies. And I can actually scan these Celestial Notes too. You've learned something new. There we go. We got like an Eldritch and an Artifice. Um, and this is actually talked about... I believe it's uh, Celestial Observation right here. And let's pop down here. I don't think these are going to be the ones that I actually need, though. Um, waxing Crescent and Lunar Full. No, that's basically... No. <laughs> it's not going to come in use. We're going to put those away for right now. We don't need those right this second. But um, it is something that you want to remember to do because it's not something... Well, once we get into Blood Magic, we can pass the phases of the moon pretty quick. Um, but for now, we kind of have to just, like, study the moon each night and get these notes um, on those. But, okay, so for right now, for our research, let's go ahead and do a rethink. There we go. So we got back a couple inspiration. We lost a little bit of stuff. We're down to four, we're at 43% fundamentals, 20% artifice. That's fine. And we got two bonus draws. So, let's see. Experimentation. 15 to 30 progress in a completely random category. Uh, that's Permutatio and Draco. Draco is actually a pain to find, though, um, from what I understand. But we'll see. And then we could also rethink again. Do we want to rethink? Because that's actually kind of nice. Yeah, let's rethink. I actually quite like rethink. 
Because you end up... I mean, I'm back up... Getting back up on inspiration here. Let's take Universal Theory. It's going to split our stuff. So we got Fundamentals and Artifice. A little bit more balance there. Let's take Ponder. We get 25 progress divided evenly between all current and active. And we get another bonus draw. There we go. We're up to 53% and 44%. It's better to kind of keep it going as long as you can. Um, that's Stellar Southern Quadrant and Waning Gibbous. Let's rethink again. Once again, I, I find it's better on your percentages to just keep it going. Um, inspired. You gain 36 to Fundamentals. That's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, let's take Inspired. There we go. So we end out with 88% uh, fundamentals, which is really pretty nice when you only have 6 inspiration. And we got 39% to Artifice. So we'll go ahead and do Complete Theory. And you can see I just got a little fundamentals card that went down there. That's because I, I had a little bit of percentage in fundamentals. And so I've gotten 1 in Theory Fundamentals. So Theory, we'll, we'll use that a bit later. We don't actually, I don't think we actually need Theory at the moment. Um... But the theory is a little bit different than the observation, as you can see. Um, observation just comes from scanning. Theory comes from doing research. So, But that's the way that that works. So if you will kind of want to start on that, you can. Because um, I know we have a quest here for alchemical brass ingots. So it's iron with five instrumentum. Okay. Let's see. A, a stone hoe is, has four instrumentum. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. It's like two of those. And we can just warp over. We can make ourselves some uh, alchemical brass. So that we can knock that quest out. So let's go to Thalmcraft. Kind of just trying to cover the basics today of Thalmcraft and get ourselves into a little bit of crucible work and stuff like that. So we'll toss a couple hoes in there and an iron ingot. And we got alchemical brass ingot. There we go. And if we take a look here, that is complete. We'll go ahead and that's done. Okay, now next up they want us to make Thaumium, um, which right here, see, we need a theory on alchemy, which we do not currently have. We're going to have to actually get our very first theory piece for alchemy. Um, then we've also got uh, a quest in the quest book here, where they want us to make that alchemical brass. So let's go ahead, turn that in. There we go. And we got three paintings. Okay. That is actually completely useless, thanks to uh, my magical beans. <laughs> but yeah, the research stuff is something I'm going to be doing mainly off camera. But if you guys have any questions regarding it, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to get those answered for you. But I'll probably be doing most of that off camera. Now, I don't think, when the sun's out, I don't think we can do any astral... Yeah, see, nothing can be learned from that. It's all just based on the phases of the moon for that stuff. Um, it actually doesn't take any durability off the scribing tools, either. Um, okay, so let's see. Where does the quest book and the Thaumonomicon want us to go next? The quest book wants us to make Alumentum and then the Alchemical Construct, which is going to be useful. For this, if we want to make Thaumium, we're going to need to get 5 Percantio and 5 Terra with Iron. Um, okay, so that's not too bad. I think Dirt counts as Terra. Yeah, 5 Terra right there. Um, Percantio. Salus Moon discounts as Percantio. So we'll toss in that, that, that. And there's a piece of Thaumium. Quest complete. Thaumium. And we get a loot chest. And Purple Crystal Shulker Box. Okay. And then in our Thaumonomicon, we've completed that part. But now we need a Theory and Alchemy. Um, to push this further. So, Essential Smelting. Okay. I just threw my thermometer <laughs> into the crucible on accident. I was getting scan happy and just scanning all kinds of things and just tossed it right in there. Okay. That's fine. I can go make another one. It's not a big deal. But I just threw a bunch of taint into the world. Okay, I went ahead and got another uh, thermometer. There we go. That way I can scan that. And... See, I'm going to toss this extra one into there. And you'll notice, like, observation, you tend to have a lot of that stuff. But it's the, uh, you know, the, the actual research ones 
that you tend to be low on. Because, like, okay, right now I just scanned everything in my inventory. And, I mean, look at that. I have a lot of observation. Theory, I don't really have. All right. Okay, so I'm going to try to do um, some theory research with alchemy. And we're going we're gonna to pick the crucible because it's going to focus more on alchemy that way. Um, and we'll get some, like, special cards and stuff. So let's go ahead and pull this up. And look at that. We already need special crystals. Um, we can either do 25 alchemy or 15 alchemy. Okay, so right here, the 25 alchemy, we need to make a Velotus, Velotus V crystal and Instrumentum V crystal. Now, Velotus you can find, of course, from Feathers. They're a great source of Velotus. Let's go ahead and scan this. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, and then Instrumentum, of course, we can use the Stone Hoe. We'll go ahead and grab a couple of those. Okay, so to make those crystals, uh, if you take a look in the Thaumonomicon, we need to make the Quartz Slivers. And let's go ahead and pull up. There's actually a, a, recipe, or a quest for making these slivers. Nether Quartz makes nine of those. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a few of these slivers. They are 63. And we'll get a quest complete, I think. There we go. And we get a loot chest. And we got a railgun. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to toss it into there. The next quest here, they want us to make um, an air, air V crystal. Like just that. <laughs> That's not even one we have to craft. That's just a standard V crystal. And we get eight Nutella. Okay, but if we want to make those, those actual V crystals, what we're going to do is we're going to pop over to our crucible. Okay, so we're going to take this feather, we're going to toss in a sliver, and we got a Velotus V Crystal. Toss in another one, there's another Velotus V Crystal. Toss in another one, and we got an Air V Crystal. And toss in another one, we got another Air V Crystal. Because a feather has five Air and five Velotus, it takes two V, so two Velotus or two Air, every time you craft one of these V Crystals. So we'll go ahead and just empty this out. There we go. And then there's also the hoe. Um, let's go ahead and toss that in there. Let's toss in a sliver, and we got a Terra V crystal, another Terra V crystal, another Terra V crystal. How much? Okay, there's seven Terra in there. There's some Herba. And there's some Instrumentum. And that should be everything that's in there, because there's only one uh, Perdito in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and toss in a couple more of those. And I'm just going to make all of these that I can. Okay, so there's six Instrumentum and, you know, some other stuff there. <laughs> and I guess since I'm over here, let's go ahead and toss in... Let's toss in like 14 Feathers and the rest of our Quartz Slivers. And I got 34 Velotus V Crystals. Okay. And then there goes some Flux. <laughs> Always good. We're going to flex this place out. Okay, so now let's go ahead and warp back home. And if we head upstairs, we should be able to complete that research and get a lot of alchemy points. Um, and actually, I think the... No, there wasn't anything for, for making those, was there? That's pretty much the end of that little line there. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take the reactions. And there we go. We got 25% to alchemy. And next up, um, there's 40 Alchemy and a chance for one Inspiration, but we need Spiritus and Victus. And you're going to end up having all kinds of this stuff, all kinds of these crystals, um, as time goes on. So, Victus is life. Um, let's see, let's click on here, the aspect from item stack. We can see what all has Victus in it. Um, you can see there's 18 in Golden Apples, or the Notch Apples. But wheat has five in it. Five Victus, five Arba. Um, Spiritus, on the other hand, if we take a look at that, um, we can get Spiritus from Wither Dust. Wither Dust has one in there. Um, we can also get it from... What other options? Soul Sand has Spiritus. So let's go ahead, let's grab ourselves um, some more of those Quartz Slivers. And let's grab ourselves some um, soul sand and some wheat. So 
So we'll go ahead and toss in some wheat and one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's Urba and there's Victus. And that should be, there shouldn't be any flux left over in that. Okay, that should be everything out of it. Six Spiritu, six Terra, and two Vinculum. And we should be able to complete that research note now. And we shouldn't have any problems getting a point of alchemy. I mean, it just takes a little bit of work. It takes a bit of time and stuff. Uh, in truth, is really all it is. So we'll take um, Synthesis. And there we go. Okay. And next up, we have another one here for 40 alchemy and a chance to get another Inspiration. Which would actually put us over 100% on alchemy. We need Percantio and Perdito. Which we actually have Perdito. And Percantio again, it's really easy with Salus Mundus. Okay, I made that, and next up, I mean, we have 105% on Alchemy, so we're going to get a point in that. But there's Inspired. Inspired by the progress you've made so far, your mind explores paths you have not considered before. You gain 62 Alchemy for two Inspiration. So we're going to take that, of course. And that completes the theory. And so we're going to end up with a total of, a whopping total of 167% on Alchemy. So we'll go ahead and complete theory. And there we go. We got our theory point in alchemy. We can open up our Thaumonomicon and complete this. There we go. Research completed alchemical metallurgy. For now, my studies are complete, but who knows what other wondrous discoveries I will make in the future. Okay, so that's completed. We finished up that line of research. And anyways, I know it's about wrapping up point for this episode, so I am going to end this one out here. Um, it's kind of, we've kind of covered the basics of Thaumcraft, and we actually got quite a bit of the quest book knocked out. I mean, I will say the quest book's not going to cover everything that we're going to cover within Thaumcraft. Um, you know, at first we knocked out a lot of quests, but then it started slowing down. Um, and we covered research, which is, I think, very important uh, to Thaumcraft. We covered observation, we covered all that stuff. If you guys have any questions about what we covered today, do let me know and I'll do my best to get those answers for you. We still have a lot of Thaumcraft to go. A whole lot of Thaumcraft to go. So, you know, if you guys have any questions, be sure and let me know. Yeah, see, it's 9,000 blocks. But I was able to warp over half that to the Alps foothills, which was only like 4,000 blocks from that. But Next episode, we'll probably do a little bit more Thaumcraft. And then we'll probably, after probably after next episode, we might start into Batania. And basically just get Batania and Astral Sorcery both started. And maybe even Blood Magic. We might just go ahead and start all three of them. <laughs> we'll see. Because I believe that the um, uh, the Blood Altar is like pretty basic. Yeah, so you need some Living Rock and a Glass Lens from Astral Sorcery. Which you can craft that way. So I don't know. We might start into Blood Magic. We might not. But uh, anyways, next episode we're going to be doing some more Thaumcraft. And we'll kind of play it by ear. So. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always... Be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.